Have you ever felt your guinea pig's stomach and it's round and hard? Well, then you might have yourself a bloated guinea pig. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the symptoms and treatment for bloat. Let's first talk about the symptoms. Guinea pigs are prey animals, so they tend to hide their sickness. So you should watch your guinea pigs carefully to see if you notice anything off about their behavior. Being less active, eating or drinking less, and pooping less are all easy signs to tell that something is wrong. When a guinea pig is bloated, they are usually in pain, so they will often be round and puffed up with their fur sticking up. In general, this is a sign that your guinea pig is in pain and uncomfortable. The next general sign is to feel your guinea pig's stomach. They will often be round and hard. The hardness comes from how much gas is actually in their stomach. When touching their stomach, they might scream in pain as well as grind their teeth together. This might mean that they are in pain also. What do you do exactly for this? Well, you should obviously go to the vet if you have never experienced this before. The vet will give you a pain med along with a gut stimulant. They might also give you or ask you if you have critical care, which is a powdered substance that you mix with water to make a food-like substance. Why is this important? Well, often when guinea pigs are in pain, they will often stop eating, so it's important to make sure you give them food. If they aren't eating, they're most likely not drinking either, so make sure you syringe feed them water. Is there anything you can do at home to make the pig more comfortable? Yes! Make sure they are warm but not too warm because you don't want to end up having them get a heat stroke which is fatal in guinea pigs, which is a whole different topic. If you want me to make a video on heat stroke, then I definitely will make a video on that. You can use a small massager for their stomach like we get as people for like hours backs. You can use those for guinea pigs as well. And this helps to get rid of any air pockets in their stomach. I would just make sure you have a fleece or a towel underneath the massager against the guinea pig just to make it a little more comfortable for the guinea pig. Keep in mind that if there is no progress within 24 hours, you should go back to the vet. Bloat can be fatal, especially because if they are in so much pain that they can't eat or drink, which means they won't be pooping or they won't be pooping as much because they aren't eating hay as hay is a good source of fiber and the fiber helps them poop. Within at least 16 hours without eating, a guinea pig system will start to shut down. Even if you feed them, they won't be able to process that food in their stomach, which means that food will just sit in their stomach. So please be mindful when watching your guinea pigs. Because you know your guinea pigs best, you will know when they don't feel good or they're not acting right. I hope this video helped you learn a bit more about below and what you can do to help your guinea pig. I will see you all in the next one.